Right guys, welcome to Terre Blanche Resort, down here in the south of France. We're out on the golf course, we're going to play some holes. There's two golf courses here, we're on, do we know the name of this one? Chateau. The Chateau, and we're with Richard Palmer Jones from Under Armour, Joel Tadman from Golf Monthly, and Chris Smith from Under Armour, and myself, Rick Shields. So, we've been over here testing the new shoe, doing some work with JJ Rivet, who is just a genius, and we thought we'd come play some golf. So it's me and Richard, because we're from the north, Richard's, uh, Richard's from Leeds and I'm from Manchester against the southerners of these two. Okay. Uh, they're trying to get tactics. They're currently, we have played three holes already, they're one down. Uh, but because we're playing in regulation play, it's quite hard to film every single hole and every single shot. So we're going to just film three of the best. And I would say this is the best we've seen so far. So we're down in the valley, it's the par four. Four. 398 yards. It's big downhill. Richard's playing off 19. 17. Apologise. <laughs> 17. I'm trying to get you some more shots. <laughs> okay, Might give be it, 19 in the moment. Give it a rip. Perfect. Little butter fade down there. Might be a bit bunkery, shouts the crowd, shouts Chris Smith. Um, I just warn people about the outfit. What did you forget this time? Glove? Pardon? What did you forget this time? Glove? <laughs> New glove. Um, this is day one at the Masters. Oh, <laughs> don't tell anyone. You never heard that anyone. Uh, right, so le right is dead, isn't it? Yeah, left not much better. I'm going to aim at the, uh, my, my new property on top of the hill. Down the right, won't see it, but it could be okay. Is that okay? Oh. I like how Chris is saying, yeah, it's fine. He's never played here. Never been here, but... Can't see where the ball's gone. Can't see it, but he says it's okay. I like his optimism. So we've been down here testing these bad boys. The new Tempo Tour. Look at them. Chris modelling them beautifully. Right, Chris playing off nine. It's okay. It's a chaser. It's a little low chaser. That's all right down there. It's a it's a links style shot in the most unlinked golf course that couldn't be imaginable. Uh, Joel Tadman. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good. <laughs> Playing rubbish. But... No, come on now. We've only played we've only played four holes. Yeah, three would for saving the last hole didn't work. So driver, um, Joel's playing off four. Nailed it on the same line as me, maybe even a bit further left. And Joel is also reviewing the new Under Armour hybrid. Hybrid, spikeless one. Yeah. Spikeless right. hybrid. Stay still, stay still. Sorry. Um, so go and check out the Golf Monthly channel to uh, see the review of those as well. Gotta be safe. So look at this down this hill. Oh my goodness. I'm going to just jump out actually and show you this. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, perfect. So Richard's just found his just in the uh, rough, only just. So he's gonna slide one in now. It looks a good, I don't know, I wouldn't like to say, probably about 200 yards away from here. You can just see the pin there over the top of the buggy, just in that corner. Richard's slightly been a bit nervous being on camera as a 17 handicapper. That's a, not a bad opening tee shot, see what it does from here. Oh, he's played that lovely. Just into the 
into the mouth of the green. Hey, nice shot. So he's just got a little pitch up there now to the flag. Good shot. Okay, here's Chris Smith in the bunker. How far have you got, Chris? About 150. 150. Joel's saying that I'm there just over the bunker. I don't think I'm. I think I went further right than Joel. And there's a ball in the bunker. You might not be able to see it. This is a great little shot from here. If he wouldn't have topped, top hooked it into a possibly a water hazard. Oops. <laughs> it's a massive bunker that to rake, isn't it? Not what you want to be raking that bunker is. <laughs> Richard and uh, Chris worked together, so he, he quite enjoyed that. <laughs> he could be some time. Is that you? Yeah. I can't believe that. Hello. I'll take that though. So yeah, Joel is in the bunker. I thought off the off the tee, I thought mine was further right, but mine's just over the bunker. I'm not complaining. I'll take it every day. How far have you got, Joel? Uh, One eleven. Okay. One eleven. You can just see the pin there, tucked into that right corner of the green. Oh, that is delightful. Oh, oh wow. I bet you will. That was perfect. You don't get shot down here, do you? Yeah. You don't, do you? Oh, God. Okay, so I'm 92.7 from the flag. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Pressure on, Rick. I've got to get this close. Yeah, that, really. I'll get a shot here. Well, that looks pretty good. That's definitely within four feet. <laughs> no shoes. <laughs> so we get up here to the green. Joel is just off the front, not far away. And I am doing okay. Now you'll notice that the greens have been dressed. Um, this, they've got two courses here, so they always try and keep one in the perfect condition. That's the other course, which we're playing this afternoon, which we're gonna do some video on. So while they're doing some work, work on this one, the other one's perfect. But we'll play that one anyway. Richard, just off the green, that's going to have to go. Oh, actually, it's done surprisingly well. Oh my Wow. Great shot. Hey, look. Rise to the occasion, sir. He's there for three with a shot. Uh, Chris Smith also with a shot. He's got quite a hard low. I don't know. I thought Richards was going to be quite hard. I suppose once you get it on top of that hill, let it run down. Oh no, game over. Uh, that's not going to do what he wants it to do right there, is it? Short. Okay, so Chris just on top of the hill. This is actually still for a four net three, which would pile on the pressure. But Joe is putting for a three net two. It's going to have to go again, Christopher. To be fair, this is his first putt on the green. Welcome to the putting green, though. First time. Okay, Joel Tabman. All three black swans as well, is it, Richard? It is. Just telling me three swans have come up. It's three beautiful black swans just in the uh, the reeds there. Right. <clears throat> Joel Tadman, Golf Monthly. Four handicapper. Played possibly the best bunker shot. He's ever played in his life here at Terre Blanche. This is now for a three net two to finish the hole. He's got it. He's got to hit it. Oh, it's no gimme. Okay, so Chris Smith now for five net four, just to uh, tidy it up. Just come around the other side of the hole because every 360 degrees it looks great. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Is it me? Um, I think it's probably. Well, Richard, you knock it in anyway, and then it that's the four net three, and then I don't have to worry about mine then. You got much in this? I'll tell you in a minute. I don't think there's a lot. 
I think you can roll this straight in the middle of the hole, firm and strong. Yes! Four net three means Joel has to hole his. I'll have a go at mine as well because I'm keeping scores anyway. I'll just leave the camera there so you can see. Go on, Joel. Make you finish off your part. Yeah, good half. Oh no, that wasn't half, was it? Uh, oh, it was. You've got this for a half. No, he's already got the half. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. That, your foot was for a half, yeah. yeah. This is for a three anyway. Yeah, means oh, nothing. Man. Absolutely nothing. Clinging on. Clinging on already. That was the best three I've ever made. Right guys, we're going to now just Kind of hop and skip through holes if the next hole you join me on uh, will be a different one okay so now we've moved on to the seventh hole um is it six six hole sorry i said the last hole was the fifth. okay six hole uh, i wish i'd filmed the fifth because i birded it so me and richard are now two up basically i've just gone birdie birdie one camera one off camera this is a par five which by the way on the on the uh ipad kind of i'll show you in a minute sized uh pad in the gps yeah gps in the buggy it looks awesome anyway sorry richard i'm babbling and you're ready to hit so there is a tree that is you can might just be able to make it out i don't think you really can that bigger tree in the distance is the one to aim at but richard you're probably going to go slightly left of that i'd go at the at the bunk on the left that you can see really Line. He did take up the tiger line. I nearly ran out of memory on that setup then. I think I, I, a 400 yard carry over water. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you were dancing about behind Chris. Were, put me sorry, on. it was my fault. I actually asked him to get my driver. It's me, my, my lack of preparation. Like sorry, it's on. my fault. Though. Right. I'm going to try and take it on a similar line to you, Richard. I think that is the line. If you could stop making birdies, that would be great. Well, this will be three in a row. So. Is that three in a row? You said? Oh, yeah. This, this yeah, one is. Here, though. This one's three in a row. <laughs> it clipped these branches. And uh, who knows where that's gone? Oh, I don't think you're making birdie from there, Rick. What's wrong with these trees? <laughs> Hit like the world's smallest twig. Oh, you joke. Did it go straight right? But yeah. disappeared from view, unfortunately. Right, we're cutting this off. Do it again. <laughs> no <laughs> chance. Oh, how frustrating is that? Well, so there goes the birdie train in the forest. Oh, it oh, literally, oh, oh, literally oh, caught oh, one of those oh, branches. Oh, Oh my goodness me. That's probably the way I'm hitting it. That is yeah. highly frustrating. So Chris Smith. Yeah, nice ball. The left. Safe as in the bunker. Bunker. Still safe. Safer than me, so it's safe. Oh, I cannot believe that. Look on that raking that you've been doing. I'm gonna have to go and grab another ball. I hope I'll hit a provisional. Okay, Joel. Any shots down here guys? Yeah. yeah. For Chris and Richard. Up the left again, just near that bunker maybe. In between them, maybe on that line somewhere. Right, I'm going to go and hit provisional. Right, I'll hit provisional because, like I said, I've not, not a clue about that one. Right? Oh, 
Perfect. Right, breaking news just in. Chris has spotted two balls in the middle of the fairway. And he's saying both of them are mine. Now, I only hit two. <laughs> so, the tree didn't have that much of an effect. Ha! Nasty tree. Had no chance. Right, Richard found the bunker here. This, let me show this hole. I'm going to come in the bunker with you because it's too nice a hole not to... Look at this. Oh, my goodness. How are you feeling about this shot? Uh, I'm not going that way. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is yeah, over... That a... way, I was definitely aiming that way. A vast amount of water. Then there's an island green here on this right side, and then the pin is there. The island green, the island fairway, sorry, is 155. So Richard's going to smash this up the left hand side. We thought all the weight was on your shoulders on this hole, but new, new news coming in has shown some positive light on the situation. Good strike. Oh, it's left. Get down. Oh, it bounced. Bounce, it bounced. bounced. That was okay. A bit too far left, but it's safe. So how cool is this thing? This is a... Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. This is like a... It's quite a loud glider, actually. That's got propellers on it, hasn't it? Very cool. It's like... Right, so as we walk down the middle of the fairway, there's two golf balls. I've been using Titleist one, or Titleist one with a Hilton on the side of it. Titleist one Hilton, and Titleist Harp one Hilton. Both mine. You are jammy kids. So you can't say those, those sort of uh, expletives it, it's on my channel, no, thank good you. Try, good try. I, I thought so. I, I, you know what, just, no. just for niceness, I'll take the bat ball. <laughs> I'll take this one that's further back. Uh, let me just show you this very quickly, by the way. So this is the hole from here, going down. The birdie train is still alive, which is good to hear. There's the flag, and the chateau is just up there. I'll tell you if it's my first in a minute. Want to see how much of a tree mark is on it? Two fifty-seven to the flag. Amazing, right, it? <laughs> There's a lot of water to go over. I'm not worried about the water. <laughs> I'm gonna aim at the right top window of the chateau. And just bring it back in. Said nobody ever on the golf course. <laughs> I don't think I need all of this. It's a good one. Oh, it's left. over the water but it's left you kind of drift bunker. towards left the bunker on the left left of the bunker yeah it's all right it's dry land i think so i don't know if you can make this out fully it is a bit dark i'll try and brighten it up uh, this is the hole oh you can see it now it's the hole so i was literally just short of that tree well that tree's quite a bit down actually i'm where the buggy is i didn't see the buggy there so i'm where the buggy was and the shot was going straight into and I've gone left of this bunker in the left. It's okay. It was the miss. I wimped out. So Rich just has found himself just past the path. Hit it too well out the bunker. Too well. Little layup. He's got to be 100 and probably 180 left into the flag here, so he's just gonna bump this forward. Oh, he wimped out. Needed to hit it. Needed to hit it. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we've gone back to Richard. He's 160 odd yards away. Oh my goodness, that view. Beautiful. Lots of air. Oh my god, that that plane just did a flip. That glider. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it just did 360 right anyway. Richard's got 160 into the flag over water. Strike, strike, it should be good, should be big enough. Yeah, yeah good shot. Good shot Richard. Chris, how far have you got in? Uh, it's 135. Okay, 135, straight over the uh, the water again. We're going to get to this water eventually, we keep going away from it. 135, wind's just coming in, in and off the right corner. 
We're going to start it there and then just shape this back into the flag wonderfully. Oh, and he's done just that. Hit it a little bit, wind. Yeah, just pin high, just to the right. Go on, Joel. Do you want to hit from there, buddy? How far have you got? Uh, 118. Okay, 118 into the flag. This just looks great. So he'll be playing straight down the front of the green. This is his third shot. We missed their second shots, guys, because they were we played when I was uh, still looking for my ball. My original ball. This looks very tidy. Yeah, just just slightly pin eye left, a little bit long, good shot. Both chances for birdie there, boys. Okay, this is one of the situations where I'd have actually rather been the bunker. I'm just here, which is on a downhill, and the flag's just over the bunker. So, I'd say not the easiest of golf shots, I would say. That's definitely not the easiest. You've hit some good shots there, look where I am. Literally the worst, I'd rather, so much rather be in the bunker. <laughs> down slope, down. Oh and I've not got my 60 degree. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is where the magic happens there. Horrible position. Okay, so Richard is just off the green here. Just got a little shot onto the green. Oh, that's not a bad little pitch. Get in. Oh, very close indeed. Nice shot. Okay, so I'm just off the green. Um, a really hard shot from where I was. This is for to keep the birdie train alive. To be fair, after all the trials and tribulations, I'd be happy to come off with just a five. Uh, no, I'll, I'll roll it in. I'll roll it in. Thank you anyway. It's given in the match, thank you. I appreciate that. But <laughs> Right, so Chris, Chris for birdie. This looks good. Like I said, the greens are a little bit slow with it being sanded, but... No, it's it! Oh! It's okay, I still want you to hold it. Still want you to get it in. Won the hole, done, dusted. Joel Tadman for a birdie. Here we go. Can he convert? Best. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that is robbed. The most beautiful back set for a most. Right, we're going to jump on to another hole in a minute. Stay tuned. I'm just going to let you just enjoy that view for another five seconds. So we move into the ninth hole and the final one on this part because we're going to have some lunch. The North are taking a one shot advantage down this last hole. Dormy one. down this hole so it's two, uh, 340 yards ish to the flag so it's one of the shorter holes that we've played today um, we're playing some good golf out here actually some nice shots being played Chris is going to fire a five iron I think Stop. 
Nice shot. Has it got over that bunker or is it short of the bunker? Short. Oh, that's the plan. Sorry, is that? It's oh, okay, I get it. I didn't know how far that bunker was. Um, right. I might even have a smash of drive rail. I'll see where Joel goes. Joel's going to hit three wood. Hybrid for safety. up the right you're better off hitting driver for safety you okay Richard Palmer Jones dovetailed wonderfully today he's been a great co-pilot see what he can do down here you got shot down here yes you do. I do. oh oh Chris and Richard get shots. This is very tense stuff. I keep taking on these tiger lines. That's going to be left, unfortunately, in the uh, the quite slim looking trees. It's alright, isn't it? I think it does open up quite a bit, but I just don't know about how much. The weak shot there. Thoughts? Pressure getting to me. I'm three under <laughs> through eight. And I just missed that last. Did it switch off? No. Okay. I was going to say, I was telling an emotional story there. Three under through eight. Just missed the birdie put on there to go four under. Eight. So I want to try and capitalise down here if I can. So Richard has found himself the absolute perfect line sat flag. I mean, you can see it clearly, Richard. Absolutely clear as mustard. <laughs> I mean, you could go up and over, but I think the sensible route would just be pop it out to the right and then see what happens. You can get up and down from there. Unless you just want to go for it. Everyone loves a hero shot. What are you thinking? Luckily it won't be caught on film. No, not at all. No, nobody's going to see this ricochet fine. off the tree and come straight back at us. <laughs> um, go for the three trees in the middle, and if you hit one, that's well, ridiculously that's exactly unlucky. Ridiculously unlucky. Yeah. And unlike last time, give it, be confident with the hit, you know, when you're rescuing it. Nice, confident hit. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Back on the fairway. Oh. Super golf shot. Put yourself in prime Very spot. Much. Okay, so Chris found the fairway perfectly. Probably only was about. 130 left in would be my prediction. That's funny when we woke up this morning, those mountains had snow on. Unless it wasn't those mountains. Just in that left corner. Oh, it's had a nice little ricochet there. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm losing clubs as I go along. Right. What do you think, Joel? I think this is <laughs> risque. Tree, flag, directly behind. You've Listen. got a line. I've got a line if I hook it, but my issue is. That. That. <laughs> I don't know if that's illegal, legal, but. Um, just do it. Got to, haven't you? Got to do it while in... Winning Rome. While in France. <laughs> if I could probably just miss it. Just. We shall find out. <laughs> That's one save on like me. Squeeze hook a 9 iron up there. Oh, it's going to hit it right in it. <laughs> right in it. So I bet let's do it. in the rough. That was wimped. <laughs> that was really wimped. Yeah. Oh, I 
Tower. Decel on that one, I think. A little I'd, bit. I'd like to have seen how I actually got that <laughs> left of the tree. Right. How far you got, Mr. Shields? I don't know, I've not run my bush, which is a mistake. Um, my prediction's about 62, 63 yards. Guessing his yardage is. Got one of those horrible branches in my way again. <laughs> Up there. I think I can probably just play it lower than that. I've got to get up and down here to put some pressure on quick. Well, it looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. Okay, thumbs up. Don't get much feedback from these two. Really no, I mean, that was pretty adjacent, oh, well, you know. Pretty perfect. Some sort of congratulations wouldn't go amiss. I thought so. Richard, nice little play up there, little chaser with the hybrid. Come round. Oh, it was working nicely. You know, I forgot Richard gets a shot down there, so he's actually there. There for three, three. net two. Yeah, so he's got Chris. Gets a shot here, so this is his third shot. Needs to go, a fraction. Uphill putt for a par, net birdie. Right, so that's a five net four. Yeah. You or me, Chris? So. That was the one. Rick can only tie Sweet. with that. Right. Well, only for this nine holes. We've got 18 yeah, in this I afternoon. Think so, yeah. I think left, left half. Um, this is to halve the hole match. Sorry, halve the match, I meant. To win the hole, to halve the match. This has to drop. Oh, wow, no. no messing about. <laughs> Look here. Hey, pressure. <laughs> right, guys, thanks very much for the match. Thank you, Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks, Richard. Sorry. So I don't want to be sorry, don't we, Dad? <laughs> right, guys, we had a great time here at Terre Blanche and definitely highly recommend it. We're going to go and have some lunch now. Uh, that might take two to three hours as a normal lunch would take here in France. Um, you know, lots of positives take from that night. I played really, really, played really well, apart from just messed up that last hole. And uh, now to move on, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks very much for Terb Launch for letting us come down here and do some filming. Uh, highly recommend the golf course. And then join us this later on for more golf coming up on the other course. Oh, what a shame.